in this video I'm going to uh, do probably two examples on decreasing by a given quantity. So I've taken one simple examples and here, the, here is the example. Toby was driving his car at the speed of 70 k's per hour. He saw a police car and reduced his speed by 35 percent. What is his current speed? So I've already done the working. Okay, so the first thing that we want to find is to find the 35% of 70k per hour. So this is what I've done. Okay, let me go over this one by one. So the first thing that you should know is, or you should all, you should be knowing, 100% of 70 would be 70. So if 100% is 70, 10% is 7, because 10% hundred percent has ten ten percents okay. or ten percent is one tenth of hundred percent so if hundred percent is seventy ten percent would be seven we're going to use this later so listen to my argument so if hundred percent is seventy fifty percent would be half of seventy which is thirty five and if fifty percent is thirty five twenty five percent would be half of this so I've done in two steps. So I did first half of 30, which is 15, and half of 5 is 2.5. So half of 35 is 17.5. Now we have already got this 10% previously. 10% is 7, so 25% is 17.5, and 10% is 7. So we need to add these two. So what do we get? We get 35% is this plus this which is 24.5 okay then I've shown you how to take away 70 take away 24.5 that's difficult so what I do and done in steps so first I took away 20 so 70 take away 20 is 50 then I take away 4 which is 50 take away 4 is 46 and then 46 take away 0.5 is. so can you see this you're taking away 20 then you're taking away 4 and then you're taking away 0.5 so his current speed is 45.5. Fine. So let us remove the screen. Okay. Now this is the intuition. We we are going to show, I'm going to show you how to do this in one step. In this, what we have done is we have done in two steps. That means we first found the 35% and then we took away. This is fine for this type of examples where you have to find a you're given a quantity and then you want to reduce it by a given quantity but in real life what happens is or in many situations you may be given this and you are you may be asked to find backwards okay. that means his current speed is say 45.5 and this was reduced by 35 percent and you want to find his original speed okay so when you want to find the original amount you can't go backwards okay if you find 35 percent and then add it you will not get this you can try that okay so this is very this is very important okay so let us see let us look at the argument so what i'm saying is if you've got 100 cents and you're reducing this minus is for reducing you're reducing 100 cents by 20 percent you'll get 80 cents okay because 20% of 100 is 20. So this, if you want to understand how I got 80 is 100, take away 20, gives me 80. So the same 100 cents, you can understand because you should be knowing that $1 is equal to 100 cents. In most currencies that you have, uh, it may be rupees or dollars or pound, Okay, your one dollar or one pound, sorry, one dollar is hundred cents. Okay, one pound would be hundred pence. One rupee would be hundred pesos. Generally, that's that's the case. So now we're using hundred because percent is out of hundred. So this is a good way of thinking. So hundred cents, when it is reduced by twenty percent, you get eighty cents. That is 100 take away 20. So the same thing can be written as one dollar 
when it's reduced by 20 cents, you'll get 80 cents. And this 80 cents can be written like this. So use the same argument. So if $1 is reduced, so the same argument can be used for 1K. For 1 kilometers, 1 kilometer, when it is reduced by, the question was, okay, uh, I should have, okay, one dollar, okay, I should d use a different example, yeah, okay, so let me delete this, I should use 35%, I don't know why I took 20%, okay, let me do it again, okay, so let me start again, so if you got 100 cents, and you reduce it by, I'll put a minus here, 35%, you get 100, take away 35. Am I right? What was the question? Yeah, 35%, yeah. So 100 take away 35, so 100 take away 30 is 70, and 70 take away 5 is 65 cents. Okay? So the same thing can be written as $1 when it is reduced by 35%, you get $0.65. This and this are the same. Okay? Because this is 65 over 100, which is 0 0.65. So using the same argument, can I say 1K or 1 kilometers per hour? when it is reduced by 35%, you will get how many Ks? You will get 0 0.65 kilometers per hour. So now the question is, if you know of one, you can find of any number. So this is called a factor of decreasing or reducing by 35%. So if you know of one, I know of one kilometers when it's reduced by 35%, you get 0.65 Ks per hour. So if it is 70 Ks, if it is 70 kilometers per hour, and you're reducing by 35%, you have to multiply by this factor, which is 70 times 0.65. Now here, I would recommend that you can use a calculator. You can do without the calculator, though. So let us use a calculator. So this is my calculator. Run. So this is 70 times 0 0.65. So what's the answer? 45.5. And that's what we got. So my answer is 45 for 0.5 kilometers. Per R. Can you match with this? You can see they both are the same. So let me do one more example very fast. The population of a time, town known as Waipukurao is 4,000. In the last five years, the population has decreased or reduced by 12%. What is the current population of Waipukurao? The same logic we will use the shortcut method now so we are using the logics again say 100 cents when it is reduced by 12 percent i'll put a minus for reduced it will be 100 take away 12 because 12 percent of 12 is 12 so 100 take away 10 is 90 the 90 take away 2 is 88. So the 88 cents. So the same thing, if you write, can I write $1 when it is reduced by 12%, it'll be 0 0.88 dollars. Okay, now those who don't understand how I got from here, this is just 88 cents is 88, 88 out of 100 dollars. Okay, this is 88 out of 100. So, and 88 out of 100 is 0 0.88.
So now listen to my argument. If one okay, so the, if that is so, one person it doesn't make sense in person, but mathematically it does. If one person was there and the population reduced by 12%, you would have how many people? You'll have 0 0.88 persons or person. Okay, it doesn't make sense math, uh, in people, but in mathematically it does make sense. So if for one person it became 0 0.88 person, you had 4,000 people. You had 4,000 people. You have to multiply by this factor, which is 0 0.88, which is 4,000 times 0 0.88. I'll show you the long method after we have done the shortcut method. So this is 4,000 times 0 0.88 equal to 3,520 people are there now. So let's write the answer. This is 3,520. Now, let us check our answer in a different way. So we know 10%, 10% of 4,000 would be 400 people. Am I right? One tenth of this. So 1%. 1% is one tenth of this. So 1% 1 of 4,000 would be one hundredth of this. So if you divide by 100, that is 40 people. So, so this implies 2% would be how many people? If one person is 40, 2% would be 80. So let me finish it off. So let me rewrite. So 10% is, let me rewrite, 10% is, 400 people and 2% is 80 people. So 12% would be, you have to add this, that is 480. Now the population has gone down by 12%. So what would you do? So this is a 12%. You have to take away. So it is 4000 take away 480. So I'll not use a calculator here. So it's 4000 take away 400, which is 3,600. Then 3,600 uh, minus uh, 80, okay? That is 3,520, okay? You can check that on a calculator. And what was our answer? Here is the answer in one step, 3,520. And here is the answer in two steps, which is the same. See you in the next video.